excited to be here. So, a good thing time to set because I was nervous. All right, so let's talk about um, efficiency and really let's obsess about it. I have loved and been obsessed with efficiency um, for at least a decade. And to the point where I can't get enough. How can we make this more efficient so it can, so more people can do this as a side gig more so than anything else? Um, you want to show them that you can actually do this as well. A little backstory. So I have a full-time job. I have two school-aged children that are involved in far too many activities. I have, um, I am the person that when they say, if you want something done, give it to someone who's busy because it'll actually happen. And that's one of those, that's, I, I am that person. So many people say, <laughs> I have a daytime job. I can't work in a business. I go, yes, you can. Let's just make sure you're doing it efficient. Um, and I want to show that leadership is possible part-time. So you can do this business and still be in leadership and you can rise the ranks relatively quickly. I've been here just about a year and a month, I think is about where I'm mm -hmm. at. And yeah. so I'm here. Um, <laughs> you can do this. I work my business intentionally in 10 hours a week. Okay. 10 hours a week, no more, no less. Of course, this week is a little different because I'm here. However, average is about 10 hours a week and that's my goal. So, and part of that's because I'm obsessive about being super efficient with it. So one of the things that's really important, if you don't measure it, you're not going to be able to control it. And I mean that by, if you're scrolling through Facebook land and getting lost, building relationships, you're not going to be able to actually be efficient and intentional with those relationships. Um, I also want you to understand, I listed that personal development does not count in my, so using my example in 10 hours a week, if I am doing some personal development, that's not included in my business activities because that won't grow my PB, it won't grow my team. So personal development is really important for mindset and personal development is really important to make sure that you are progressing and encouraging your team to progress, but it's not included in business related activities. So how many hours a week do you want to work? This is the first question you have to answer yourself. How many hours a week are you willing to work your business? How many hours a week are you willing to dive in and be super intentional about your business? Um, and then more specifically, how many hours is your sphere willing to work their posh businesses? Because as we know, we have a number of individuals who are not necessarily, there's, what do we call them? Discount them, right? Yeah, um, we that. have a number of friends that are here and they are not willing to put time and energy into their business. And if that's the case, you want to make sure you know that so you're not putting time and energy into them. So make sure that you know how many hours a week you're specifically willing to work your own personal business and then how many hours they're willing to work. Then we're going to break it down. So let's talk about divide and conquer. This is my suggested, um, this is how I would suggest that you work your business. Now, business is ebb and flow. If you are in the middle of like recruiting a ton of individuals, then maybe you're, you're not going to necessarily work your, business, your personal business um, as much. But Ideally, you would work your personal business 50% of your allotted hours. That includes sampling, sharing, and selling. Being out there, sharing your experience, making sure to um, share with others why, what Posh has done for you from a product standpoint. Um, and then show what you're doing. Make sure that your team is able to see what you're doing so that way they can replicate it. 25%, uh, you want to be able to work directly with your sphere, your spheres. Um, make sure you're working with them directly. Give them kudos. Make sure that they have what they need to develop and also provide them training. So make sure you're empowering them. And again, you're not necessarily doing the work for them. Lastly, the last 25%, and you can move these based on what your current goals are or maybe based on an incentive that we're working on right now. 25% um, grow your sphere. So you want to spend 25% of your time recruiting, doing recruiting activities, live video sharing about the opportunity, not just sharing, but sharing and inviting others to be a part of your sphere and also do one-on-one -on -one, um, meetings for that purpose and make sure that you're just continually growing. So you want to make sure that you're filling the funnels. Um, you want to chat with your customers, your prospective customers, so as you sample people, you want to make sure you're following up with them and connecting with them um, so that way they become customers. And then you're also working with your front and second line, of course, uh, as you recruit, uh, which leads me to recruit prospects, and you're working, um, you're working your parties, you're doing events, you're doing one-on-ones, however you primarily sell. Customer work. So when we're talking in terms of the customer funnel, um, share 
Share these things monthly. Make sure your team knows to share these things because these are things that people forget and we don't necessarily remind our customers of. Um, you want to ensure that they know about the consistency for good three months in a row. I forget about this all the time and my customers will actually go, oh, if I place another order this month, right? And so make sure your, your customers know this. Um, share the opportunity one to three times in a month at a minimum. Um, and then share perks benefits. Oftentimes, if you're reminding your customers over and over, this is an example of working your personal business with your customers, and then by the time they follow up on the whole orders, and I should say samples as well. When you're working with your sphere, you want to make sure to utilize the corporate resources. I don't want to get preachy, but one of the things that um, has helped me tremendously, and I should have put this in the customer portion of it, is Posh does really great campaigns. They've worked really hard for us, and they provide us a tremendous amount of tools to be able to work our businesses quickly and efficiently. So one of the things that I do, as an example from a customer standpoint, is I don't necessarily share the promotions because I know my customers are getting all of those emails as well. I'm not going to spend my time in my VIP page sharing about the promotions that they got an email to. As part of the, I have a lot of customers that order directly. Um, it's important for me. I don't have the time to be able to utilize to have all orders shipped to me and then I make them and send them out to others. I appreciate that there's a number of individuals who have that as their brand, but my customers, my team, and those that I'm bringing on all know that I preach this philosophy. I'm gonna work 10 hours a week, and that means I'm gonna be here to serve you and to help you grow, but I'm also not gonna necessarily be able to have items shipped to me and then I ship to you. I'm running through, okay, I'm running out of time. Um, be real about the time that you're able to spend with your team. You wanna make sure you're gathering your goals. So that way when you say, hey, I don't have the opportunity to reach out to you right now, um, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can, they understand. Lastly, takeaways. This is, what I, this is where I was going. Um, get really strategic on the amount of time dedicated to your, to your personal PV and recruiting your sphere. Be super realistic about expectations from both your customers and the team, so that way there's no surprises when you're not answering their their text right away, and then all ensure all your systems are up and running and set a schedule that helps you. That way it's duplicatable for your future team members. Thank you.